The overall goal of the following experiment is to use an indirect immunofluorescent assay to screen for anti-nuclear antibodies. This is achieved by incubating patient serum with HEP2 substrate slides. The unbound patient serum is washed off. The bound autoantibodies are then incubated with specific fluorescein labeled conjugate and the unbound reagent is washed off. When viewed through a fluorescence microscope, autoantibody positive samples will exhibit an apple green fluorescence corresponding to areas of the cell or nuclei where autoantibody has bound in a pattern of fluorescence indicative of the antigen being present. Ultimately, the presence of ANAs can be used to aid in the diagnosis of connective tissue diseases. The main advantage of the indirect immunofluorescent method over other methods, like solid phase ELISA, is that the HEP2 cell substrate contains over 100 antigens expressed in their native configuration. This allows the identification of almost all clinically relevant autoantibodies, which is not possible with solid phase techniques. As the indirect immunofluorescent method is a very specialized technique, Individuals new to this method need time and practice to become proficient in the procedure of slide processing. Interpreting the microscope images and learning to identify relevant patterns is also a skill that takes time to master. With the right reagents and tools, the results are more consistent and easier to interpret.